What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys part 3 for my playthrough on Paper Mario the Origami King. So guys, in the last episode, we actually completed the Whispering Woods, Toadstown, and saved Luigi from the painting over here. And in today's video, we're actually going to be completing or starting up our first world, which is Picnic Road. So if you guys are hyped and want to support the channel, make sure you smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Let's me know that you guys do enjoy the content. Thank you guys so much for the support on this channel. But we left off saving Luigi and Luigi skirt off. He's like, I'm out of here. I'm gone. So Luigi left. We are actually sitting at uh, the castle, like the ruins of the castle of what destroyed. So we're gonna actually walk out of here and see what's going on and potentially make our way to our first little world, which I'm actually hyped for. This game has been a blast for parts one and two. And as you guys can tell, Luigi took his cart because his cart was here. This is where we ended, and he skirted out of here. So which makes us a nice little path. We can actually make our way this way and go over here. We got a nice little save thing, which I'm gonna actually slap up real quick. I'm gonna hit it with the jump. Yeet. Hit that jump, say see you later, get that save complete. And now we actually have this pathway over here, which is pretty dope. But yeah, I've been having so much fun with this game. Like, I don't even know. It's been crazy. The uh, graphics, everything about it has been awesome. But, oh, I think we found the castle. Is that right? It's right there. But I don't know how we're going to make it past those streamers. They're weirdly strong for paper. Plus, it looks like they're coming from different places. We have to go travel all around the world to unravel them? Yeah, that's probably what we got to do. That is the plan. So the red streamer is going in this direction. It seems like the following will lead us where we need to go, doesn't it? Yeah, yo, let's head over there. Let's follow this red streamer, and I guess this is this will lead us to our first world and eventually to our first boss fight and everything, because that is what we have to do in uh, in order to complete this game. We have to take out all the streamers and I guess the bosses that are on the streamers right here. But we make it our way through our past. Somebody help me. Yo, what's going on here? I'm in between dimensions. So we got someone in between dimensions. So Luigi has been like that, and Olivia has been like that. We saved them both here. But I'm guessing it's this little ripple right here. Let's hit this. Oh, there's a goomp up there. Can I slap him down? Get out of here, goops. Oh, there's this boy. I gotta fight him. I gotta fight him or something. Yo, get smacked with that hammer. And we start our first battle for this video. Let's get it. Let's get it, yo. Bop. Give him that big old four damage on there. And I kind of like this battle system. I like the little puzzles and all that. Okay, so we gotta line these ones up. We got two moves. This one's pretty simple. We just kind of go over here. We A this. Move that one back. Switch it to this one. And line them up just like that. Beautiful. I believe we are also going to be unlocking a... Uh, the store in today's video as well, which is actually pretty cool so we can buy new items and all that good stuff show that off That'd be cool. But there we go. That battle is done like that unless it's a wave battle. Was it a wave battle? Nah, battle bonus complete easy peasy simple bang battle done and we got to save someone who is inside this little thing So after defeating that Goomba we get a little a thousand arm thing We got a thousand fold arms. So we got to do this and can we grab this right here? Yeah, we gotta grab this We gotta grab it double and then pull it this way pull it hey. Yay! Come on! Yay! Come on! What's this thing doing? Alright, let me reset my arms. Let's grab it and yeet it on this way. Can I yeet it? Can I yeet it? Come on. And I'm yeeting it. You guys are seeing this. Hold on. Give me one second. We're going to reset the arms. We're going to do this again. Let's grab, grab, pull it. Pull it like this. Pull it! Come on! What is this? I got, oh, I got a twist. Okay, I got to twist my thing. I should have looked at the thing. I was going like this and just pulling it. All you got to do is actually just turn your little, uh, your controller like that. I should have looked at the little instructions telling me. But we we get this blue toad over here. And it goes over to this bridge. Oh, man, the bridge didn't used to be here all broken like this. How am I supposed to get back to my shop? So he wants to get back to his shop. And we rescued the only toad in Toad Sound. So there we go. We get the little 100% completion stamp. And we go over to this toad and we have this little uh, origami king stamp thing right here. So we're going to tear it off. Say, get out of here. Get out of here, and the bridge gets fixed. But, yeah, if you look, there's little, like, origami swans in the water, which is hilarious. But this is the toad that actually owns the shop. It gives us a mushroom for helping him out. And he says he's going to head back to the shop, so we can actually meet him there if we want to check out that shop that I was just talking about. But but look at the origami swans. I am actually going to head to that uh that shop real quick and give it a check out before we actually go over and follow that streamer up to the pathway. So what's the shop look like again? Is it... Bum, bum, bum? Hmm. I think it's down this way. I think it's down this way. I wish there was like a run button. I can just like run around here and quick be like super quick. This is a shop. I don't think this is a shop. I think it's more over. I think that's something else. I think the shop is down this way. Yep, right here. Blue Toad's just chilling there. And he says, hey, remember me? You pulled me back from the other dimension. So I can work 18 hour days in the shop. <laughs> Can't thank you enough for that. Anyway, we've got some good items and weapons here. Check it out. So we actually unlock a nice little weapon store over here. So we can actually go in here and be able to spend our coins that we've been saving up. We have over 10,000, which is awesome, right? Let me let me see here. I can actually talk to him. Come here. Come here, Blue Toad. All right, what can I get for you? Please spend generously. You got it, man. So we have exactly 10,000 coins, unless that is like the maximum. But I'm actually buy these new iron boots. I'll buy that. 
Um, what else can I buy? Can I buy another pair of iron boots? If I'm not, if I'm not mis mistaken, you got a weapon. You can use weapons and attack it during battles. I heard they have a bunch of different effects. Okay, so I would have to equip it using the plus button the same. So, let's kind of buy another one. I can buy multiple. Okay. I'll buy two of them, and I'm going to buy uh, probably a stack of mushrooms and a stack of fire flowers. Let's do that. Let's do that. Fire flowers, hey, give it over here, boy. And we'll buy a stack of mushrooms in case we uh, need health along the way here. So beautiful. Finally be able to spend our goodies. And now I can actually hit the plus button and see what the um, item menu is all about. So we can hit plus and go into, where is that? Useful items or weapons right here. Oh, I can equip weapons. I can go here. I can equip that. Can I equip this one too? There we go. So we have two iron boots now, which is awesome. And then we have items right here. And what does this do? To throw fireballs in a straight line. So I guess I can use that as a, like in a pinch in battle. But I know I can bring out the what's called any time. I can bring out the mushrooms anytime just to give me help. And I think I can use them in battle as well. So that's pretty cool. But now that we have all that done, we can actually make our way to that ribbon. So we're going to go back over the bridge and make our way over there, which I believe is Picnic Road, our first little world. So that's going to be awesome. Yeah, I cannot wait to explore it, get going with that. We got full confetti. I can tell because it's, there's a little like green aurora around the little confetti bag. That's how you know you're full. But we're going to save before we get over there. I don't know if 10,000 is the max that you can hold. Or did I just land on 10,000 perfectly? Because that's pretty, that's pretty nutty. That's pretty nutty. Let's get going. Paper Mario, dude. I love how he walks around. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's just so funny. It's all stubby feet. But make our way through this little pathway. And now we get going. We get grooving and moving, baby. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Picnic Road is here. And look at this. It's like a valley up to the top. Let's get exploring. And first things first, we got this uh, little... Uh, confetti we can actually fill in right here this little bottomless hole wow this thing's taking actually a lot how many more how many more last one there we have last one and i can tell that there's a toad right in here come here buddy smack him up with a hammer and we save a nice little green toad which is awesome so this is basically like the first world all the other worlds were kind of just like uh they were kind of like beginner tutorial kind of things this is the first world we can actually go into and uh be chilling with and just like go in and do as we please. We don't have really any instructions. We kind of just do things on our own, which is nice. We get a nice little confetti bag. I kind of need that. I need that. Give me some of this, too. Now we got a decent amount of confetti. We can come over here and slap it up. Oh, yes, sir. Give me this. Dude, this game, man. This game is so good. I recommend it to people. Seriously. Like, if you like solo player games, and if you never tried out Paper Mario, this is probably a good one to actually try out. Uh, the reviews just came out, and they got pretty good reviews. Most of them were like 7, 8 out of 10, which is solid, which is just like a solid score. A great single-player game. Wow, this place is really beautiful. Nothing like bright, blooming flowers and abundant sunshine. Ooh-wee. That's beautiful. In fact, it's so nice, I think we should stop and have a picnic. Hence the reason, Picnic Road. Sorry, Mario. It's nice here. I almost forget about the streamers and all the other problems. No, no time for picnics. No time for picnics over here. We got Goompas, Origami Goompas chilling here that we can fight whenever, but a lot of bottomless holes. That's uh, what I've been noticing. So I got to collect a good amount of confetti to actually fill all this in. I got to make sure I keep staying up to stock. I see we have a little broken fence right here. Come here. Give me all these coins. Let me smack down this broken fence. And, uh, oh, we just killed the, we killed the what's called with it. We killed that origami, uh, shy guy. And there's another one right there, like, eating that toad or, like, folding him. Let me save all these toads. We got a bunch of them lurking around here. Got a bunch of these dudes. Ah, uh, yes, I was just having a pic- or a peaceful picnic, and I got folded. Thank you, Mario. Yo, no problem. Everybody get up. Toads, get out of here. We're here to save all you guys here. <laughs> Yo, what is this shy guy doing? Yo, get off him. Get off him. What you mean? Yo, this dude turned. I want to give him a smack with a hammer, like a sneak attack right to the side of the face. Oh. Oh, group of these boys. Okay, I think it's going to take one uh, line. Yeah, we got one ring move. It's great to have the toads we rescued cheering on for us for excitement in the bleachers. You know what would make them even more excited? Getting paid. If you have coins to spare, hold Y to toss some out to the toads. I'm sure they'll help you in a pinch. So if I am in a pinch, I can actually give them coins. So let me actually show that off to you guys now. So I can actually give them 10 coins right there. Yeah! So what's he do? Oh! He threw a pan over there. Hold up. Oh, I can't do it. You can only do it once in a battle. But I already know the little secret here or how to do uh, the, solve the puzzle. But the, I believe the more coins you give them, the more, uh, uh, what's it called? The more things they can do. Like, they can heal you up. They can do damage to enemies. But I gave him 10, and he just threw a pan at him. Just smacked up on the shy guy. But we have two actions here. I'm going to use them both as a hammer. Because we have these things lined up perfectly for hammer shots. Let's get this excellent. Let's go. Let's go. Your boy's getting better at this. Your boy's getting better at this. We get some nice battle bonus coins, which is pretty good. But we save yet another toad right here. Do I have to smack him up with a hammer? No, but I guess he's just, like, chilling there. Do I have to smack him? No, he's gone. He's out of here. We did it. We saved him. And we get uh, a bunch of confetti back as well, which I really like. I really like confetti. I wonder if there's confetti bag upgrades, because I feel like there's got to be, right? And we got this little, like, cave right here. Let me go over here. What we got here? Oh, mystery box. 
Oh, ooh, fire plow. Give me that, boy. Give me that nice little fire plow. I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Now we can go over here and actually start filling in these bombless holes. Oh my god, yo, this game too gorgeous, man. This game's graphics is so good. I feel like every single world is just going to amaze me on the graphics because there's just it's just going to be something different and something that looks really cool. Well, let's fill this one up. Do I have enough for it? I'm out of confetti. We got to get some. We got to get some. Spare confetti. Let's get it. At least they gave us all these flowers to actually mess around with. Oh, you hunk of junk. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't feel like fighting you. I just want confetti, man. I just want confetti. I just want confetti. I legit just want confetti. I just want confetti. Can you please leave me alone? Please! <laughs> Stop it, Goomba! All right, all right. I think we escaped them. I think we escaped them. Can we fight Koopa Troopers? I would love to fight a Koopa Trooper. We haven't fought one of them yet. But there we go. Fill that in. We can get this mystery blocks too. What's in here? This little 100 coin. Let's get some more confetti before we actually roll out. But, yo, are we going to be fighting Koopa Troopers? He looks friendly, though. Yeah, he's a flat guy. Okay, we only fight origami people. Never mind. What am I saying? We're not fighting you. I'm coming over here. I need more confetti. Let's keep slapping up on these flowers. But yeah, it is nice that they did give us flowers. Oh, I didn't even see a toad in there. I didn't even see a toad in there. Yo, you're welcome, toad. I just got lucky. Luckily, I came this way and I needed confetti. I smacked it up. Let's go fill this in. This should be a two-shotter. Oh, it's a one -er. It was a one -er. We just wasted some confetti. Get out of here, Koopa! Bro, yo, chill, chill on me. Chill on me, yo. And I just smacked that flower, and there's another toad. I didn't even know again. I take, we take those, though. We take those. Yo, leave me alone. Ah, no, no, I hit the tree. Ah, <laughs> yo, chill on me. Chill on me, dudes. I just want to fill my confetti bag. All right, cool, cool, cool. Now we make it here. Yo, look at the little swan in the water, the origami swan. I'm Mario. I didn't know you were one of the faithful. Of course I am. Have you come here seeking salvation or salvation like us? Yeah, I guess. Situation. What you mean, situation? What's going on here? Oh, we got a Koopa run up here. He's like, oh, he's scared, yo. He's running away. Situation, situation. We got a situation here. What is it, dog? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. What kind of situation? Is it a good situation or a bad one? Bad situation. Bad situation. <laughs> Get a quick sip of my drink so we can actually be ready to perform out here. We got these guys over here, which I'm going to actually might have to battle. Let's see if I can actually just do this. Sneak one in here. Fill that in. Let's we dip these dudes. Ah! Okay, we just jumped on him. And the other one was, like, jumping on me. But we got a wave battle going on here. Hopefully, we reverse both these guys at once. Because there was two enemies. So, hopefully, I can uh, kill two birds with one stone. And we got to figure out this puzzle right here. Line them up. Uh, two moves right. Okay, so this one's really, really simple. This one is really, really simple. We just go here. We go one, two. Bang. And we go here. And bang. Perfect. Great lineup. And we get that attack boost. That's how you know you did the perfect jumps right here. Why well, those Goompas have, like, a uh, little angry... Little emotes around their heads. But there you go. Get excellent, Bob. All oh, you guys. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Go on. But yeah, that's how you do know that you uh, solve the puzzle perfectly. It's when uh you get like the 1.5 bonus or damage multiplier. Yo, these excellents. We're getting good at them. We're getting too good at these excellents. Let's lap up all them. Oh, we got another wave because it is a wave battle. And how are we going to do this puzzle? Um, I think we uh, slide down. Yeah, I got it. I got it. It's like this. We come over here. We slide these dudes down. Hit A. Switch over here. Go here and slide this dude all the way around. And boom. Another great lineup. We chilling here. Grab out the booties again. No need for the iron boots yet. We can actually hop on spike enemies. So if we do end up seeing spike enemies on picnic mode, we can actually uh, destroy them and be cool with it. But I'm going to just not even use them because they, they, they were pricey. They were pricey for iron boots. I don't, they might be one-time usage. I think they might be one-time usage and then you can buy more. Oh, we only hit them with a great. But a great does still kill, which is nice. And we almost made back all of our coins so far. But the best part is, oh, let me spend my confetti before I pick up all that confetti. That's a good amount of confetti right there. Can I get up here? Give me all that. We filled. We filled up. Look at that. We got a swan here. And what's that block doing there? Is there hidden blocks here? Hold up. There is. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, your boy's sticking on his toes. Your boy's sticking on his toes, man. I just saw a block there and I was like, I don't remember hitting a block. But there was a bad situation. I'm actually gonna go, gonna go check it out. We got this over here. Oh, is that a little hole I can fill? It is, okay. Luckily I saw that. Give me that. So we're gonna head down here. The Koopas were like yelling. They're like, yo, what's going on? Oh, yo, there's a toad right there. There's a toad up there. How am I gonna get that toad? I see a toad right here as well. <laughs> Smack him up. What's that toad doing there? He's just like chilling. But there you go, rescue the wrong toad. I run the fun, funky, and functional accessory shop in Toad Town. Come see me for accessories. Oh, awesome. So we got a cool toad that actually runs a shop in the uh, Toad Town. I'll take that all day. I'm actually hit the save button real quick. Yo, look at these dudes. These dudes are spazzing out over here. How do I get that toad? Can I hop down and get it? Or can I come over here? Let me see some real quick. Can I hop down like this? 
Oh, can I hop on that safe block? Hold, oh, bro. Yo, that would be a crazy toad to get. Or do I need something else to get? Hmm. We just missed that. I wonder if I can hop on top of the save block. You gotta be able to. We gotta just walk off. Mm, my bro, 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 what you mean? I'm not stopping till I know for sure that I cannot hop on the save block. Oh, yo, we can. No! No, dude, that this is a pain toad. Unless I'm doing it wrong and trying to cheese it. Bro, dude, that's close. That is close. I'm gonna give it another try. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Like maybe I get like a slingshot or something. Oh, come on, man. What you mean? <laughs> come on, dude. Let's get it. Okay, so I, I think I mastered a save block jump. Yep. I don't think I don't think that's the way to get it. I really don't. It just seems like it's not working. It's a real bad situation, Mario. The door to the Earth Velamental is sealed. No one can get inside to pay tribute. Okay. We got that origami dude over here, so maybe we have to bop up on him. The door will open when all five holy shell stones are placed in the shell stone receptacles. But four of them are gone, and that heathen is trying to steal the fifth one right now. Yo, what you mean? We're gonna try to st stop him, but you know, we're Koopa Troopas. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Walk into him slowly? Dude, turn into a shell and bop him. I got him. I got him. Don't worry. Yeah, yeet. Oh, dude, I want, I want to hit him with a hammer, but I, I ran right into his back. But we're gonna take this fool out. Say, yo, stop trying to steal that, uh... That shell thingy relic. But I'm guessing after that, then, uh... Wait, let me read this first. Poof, that countdown timer just goes, doesn't it? It makes a lineup so special. Oh, hey, it looks like you can press the plus to spend coins and add more time to clock. Okay, so that's good to know. If we need more time, we can just spend money. But like I was saying, I guess it's, uh, we have to find out how to, uh... How to... What is it even called? I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Or, uh, we have to find all those little extra shell stones, if I had to guess. And then we can go here and slide this dude down, right? We need more time. We need more time. Hold up. How do I do that? Oh, I have to hold it down like that. Oh, dang. I just spent a good amount. And we got time. Um, let me go. Can I reset this? I think I gotta go like this. Hmm. Let's actually go like this and push this back. I am so confused here. I am so confused here. I really am. We gotta add more time. Give me 25 more seconds. Come on. <laughs> Alright, let's reset this puzzle. So, puzzle starts here. I'm guessing, like, this has gotta be the right player. Straighten them up. And then, from here, what do we do? I don't even know. I guess we'll just take... I, 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 guess, I guess we're fine with that. Line up block. We mopped up on the puzzle part, but that's fine. We can take out this, and then we're going to have to take one hit at least. Man, I really want to figure that one out. But like I was saying, I'm guessing we have to... Oh, these guys didn't die. These guys didn't die the boots. Oh, no, yo. We had to line them up. I guess we line up shy guys for hammers. They get murked on by the hammers. Oh, dude, we're going to take a big whoop in here. Can I spend a mushroom? Can I eat a mushroom or something like that? Enemies turns. Oh, no. Can I block it? Okay, we got block. Only hit us for seven. That's not bad. And now we're chilling fine. They got a different lineup. Line them up. Um, this one should be easy. We got two. We got two turns. No, I didn't mean to spend a coin. I didn't mean to spend a coin. I hit the wrong button. But we did give it to Toad. What's he gonna do? He threw a little nut at him. We'll take that. <laughs> Drop this dude down. Switch it to that, and then spin him around. Okay, beautiful. Power up. Oh yes. We we didn't kill because we didn't get that 1.5 times multiplier. So we should be able to kill here. Bang, 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 bang. Beautiful. Okay, see you later. Man, I wish we would have got that lineup. I'm probably going to eat a mushroom too, just uh, just to be safe here. I'm at 27 HP. I'm almost down to half, so I'm going to gonna munch up on a mushroom. But see you later, little origami dude. Well, I haven't seen power like that since I watched a documentary about the Earth Ventimental itself. Yo, you know that we got that power. Are you going to watch it? Don't want to spoil anything for it. Of course we're going to watch it. If you, if you recommend it to us, Koopa Troopa, we're going to watch it. But I'm guessing we have to find all those little uh, shell relics or something and put them in here and probably do something with that but let me go into my little items real quick and can i eat a mushroom quick can i eat a mushroom oh there we go there we go heal up with that mushroom give me 50 hp and what do we got over here i see confetti down there can i fill it up from here <gasps> no i didn't even mean that what you mean what you mean dog come here there is stuff up there though but i'm gonna keep filling up with confetti here i just slapped up so much confetti but what's down here we got all this can i break this what we get here oh well bag right here can i hop down here 
Nothing down there. So what was the point of coming down here? Anything? Can I slap up on these? Oh, 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 hold up. Yo, there's a toad over here. There's a toad over here. I'm coming over here. I found a nice little secret toad. We're going to get him and all that good stuff. We got the, we're going up against the rats. Oh, this is an easy one. This is a two lineup, a two turner. Yeah, this one's simple. Slide him up. Switch this over and boop. And now we're going to get that power up bonus. What does the little, uh, those little, like, angry emotes on the head do? Make them do more damage? Something along those lines? It doesn't matter. They're all dead. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey! <laughs> there you go, match that A button. And it's cool, the more toads that we do rescue, the more that are in our cra crowd. So, it's pretty cool to see them just keep growing. But there we go, get this toad real quick, smack him up on the head. But I was gonna say, that there has to be something down here, if I'm coming all the way down here for nothing, that'd be whack. But there we go, we save a toad, a beautiful little toad. A pretty little toad. And now I can actually make my way this way. I'll back up these steps, and I saw something over here, these little boxes I wanna hop up onto. Let's see what's over here. Anything over here? I see this. This thing can be broken, so I'll smack that. And what comes out? Ooh, a little thousand folded arms. Let's use that. And see what we gotta do with this. Okay, do we go up here? Okay, we can grip this up. And we can hit this thing. Bang! Oh, we saved the toad! Another toad, my dude! You see that, guys? We're saved! Let's rally behind Mario whenever he gets into the fight. Just press Y and we'll be your 12th toad. 12 toads? Bro, there's 12 toads! Oh, yes, sir. We just saved 12 of the boys. Maybe that only counts for one. I hope it counts for 12. That's pretty dope. Well, let's talk to these Koopa Troopas because I think we did everything here. There are four shell stones missing. We can't get... Okay, so we have to find the four shell stones for him. I'm guessing they're on the picnic road. But that toad is annoying me. I got to find a way to get him maybe later. I'm, I'm going to try one more time off this uh this save. Uh, oh, look at that. No, dude, I'm telling you. I am telling you. There's got to be something else to get him. Like, he's probably one of those toads that you gotta come back when you have a different mechanic. There's a pipe there, so something leads there. But, yeah, he's definitely a toad when you find a different mechanic, they make you come back to the world. The toad over here, did we save this toad already? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we smacked the dude! I think it's so funny when he's back. He just, like, flops down. Gets folded up. <laughs> Another toad right here. Smack him up. Yes, sir. I like collecting toads. I think it's pretty cool. But tons of toads here. Tons of toads here, man. Good chilling. So, we got this place right here. It's all ribbon filled, so I guess we can't go in there. Well, look at that cute house that's all wrapped in my brother's streamer. You think anyone's inside? Oh, they must be real bind. Oh, yeah, probably, I guess. <laughs> hey, if anyone's inside that super cute, cute house, we're here to help. Just hold tight and we'll come back after we unwrap the red streamer. Okay, so that's kind of just a sign that she's saying uh, we should go uh, do, or beat the red streamer and then uh, come back to this place afterwards. Yo, that butter butterflies are toads? Yo, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I kind of want to go back. I saw a few butterflies down uh, in the beginning of the Ribbon Road. Well, not Ribbon Road. Picnic Road. Where did I get Ribbon Road from? I know Ribbon Road's from Tom. It's from, oh, it's from Mario Kart. It's one of the uh, courses. You see, there's another butterfly there. I know, like, I saw butterflies before. How do I get the butterflies down, though? Keep throwing these. Am I out of this? I'm pretty close to being out. I am out now. We need more confetti. Luckily, there's a tree right here that I kind of want to hit. Oh, me. Oh, there we go. Confetti bag. I'll take that all day. Yeet. Oh, I fell through, and then I knocked him out of there. Back down to 7 health. My fault, my fault. Yeet. Probably two more, or... Yeah, one, two. Come on, finish that up. Beautiful. Come here. Butterfly, th toad. Yeah, he's starting to fall down here. Yeet. Come here. There we go, smack him up. So now that I know that the butterflies are toads, that's, that's actually good to know. And I always love the water, uh... The water, the paper water. I think it looks so good. Here's another toad. I gotta pull him out. Come here. Come here, boy. Got you from your feet. Dude, there's so many toads. I love it. I love the paper toads. They're just so cool. We got a little, like, flagpole here. What else we got over here? I need some more confetti, though. Oh, these flowers are toads, too. The little rose flowers. Anything that looks folded up, they're toads. There's another toad in that thing right there, too. Let me actually just confetti this up. One, two, three. Oh, no, I need more, man. Where's all my confetti at? I need these. Goompa, please leave me alone, Goompa. I'm not, I'm not here to hurt you. I'll let you live. I'll let you live, Goompa. I don't want to battle. I just don't want to battle right now. Yeet. Yeet. Oh, my God. We need more confetti. More confetti. Give me these flowers. Dun, 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 dun. Do I have another throw here to fill us in? Yeet. I'm out. I'm out. Can I get a little bit of confetti? Oh, what? No, that wasn't a toad. It was... Ah! It was a Goomps, dude. I'm not dealing with you, Goomps. Come here. Come here, confetti. Is there a big confetti bag in here? Nope, just more confetti though. I'll take it. I'm gonna smack a ball on that tree and try to fill up after this. I know we'd be low. Oh! Dude, chill on me. Chill on me, Goompa. We get it. We get it. This is your little area. Chill on me! There we go. Last one. Oh, did I do it? 
Come on. Fill it in. All right, we got flowers back here. Yo, why can't I fill this thing in? Yes, we did it, finally. Give me that coin. We fill in that little bottomless hole there. We got some flowers as well, so let me hit that up. You want to put chill on me, bro? Oh, yo, bro, I didn't even mean that. Another butterfly toad comes following out here, and I just hit it, which I'll take all day. Now I'm going to make him shrivel. Pop. <laughs> That's a little pull. Let me see what this thing does. Oh, we can jump on it. I just tried jumping on it, and it did that. What are these right here? Oh, I saw like a little thing in the ground. So maybe can I jump get top of the flagpole? And then, oh, we get top of the flagpole. What comes out here? Oh, firework toads. We saved seven or eight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You love to see it. You love to see it, man. Awesome. We saved toad. There's a dog right there. Let me hit this thing. Smack that. Is that toads? What is that? <laughs> it's a dog toad, bro. The toads, man. Too many toads. Are we saying come to the battle lab? Oh, the battle lab was the uh, toad-shaped house in Toad Town. That's good to know. So now we unlocked uh, more places. So in today's video, we got, uh, I think we got three different toad areas. The battle lab, the, the store, and there was another one that we unlocked when we got that, like, archaeologist toad with the thing on his back. It's pretty cool. There's a stone right here. What's in this stone? A confetti. Look at piece up on this tree. I know you got confetti in your tree. Come here, tree. Bop, bop. And then these flowers right here. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Confetti bag filling up again, and I can actually hit this right here. Boop. A mirror slap that up, slap that up. And filling these little confetti holes. But yo, I love the world, yo. Picnic Road has been pretty cool. Picnic Road has been pretty cool. Oh, we already filled up all the bottomless holes, so are we almost done this place? Are we almost done, Picnic Road? Oh, a little toad came out that tree. Okay, so good to know to hit up trees, too. I feel like there's so many, like, hidden secrets that I feel like I'm missing. I kind of want to see, like, what my percentages are looking at for this, uh, place. Let me go to the map. Go to the map over here. And look at this. We got Picnic Road. Oh, look at all this we have to do. Whispering Woods, we have to go back. Rescue toads from there. We did the bottomless holes, which are fine. Collected, uh, treasures. 33. Toad's Town, we, uh, we rocked out. Collectible treasures we were missing out on a lot. Uh, hit mystery boxes, graffiti underground. Uh, missing a little bit, but I, I think there was another area that we didn't explore yet or weren't able to. And Picnic Road, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're actually 58%, so there's still a good amount of toads. We're only about halfway there. And mystery box, we did hit a good bit. But if you guys want to see me actually uh, collect like 100% all, all this different stuff, head in my stream, Jeans25 on Twitch. Link is in the description below. Hit that follow button. Turn on your notifications so you know when I go live. Because like I said, this playthrough isn't a 100% playthrough. But we're going to try to get as much done as we can and show off this game as much as we can possible. And then overall my stream, I'm going to come back and like 100% by getting all the toads, all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check out the streams. But we make our way to a different place. And there's a whole, the red streamers going up there. And what is this place called? It was called like something mountain. But that's, this place is pretty cool. What is this called? Let me wait a second so it pops up on the bottom. What is it called? Oh, this is uh, Overlook Mountain. Overlook Mountain. That's pretty dope. We can actually read that. I just hit it. I wanted to read it, but I hit it and the toad comes out. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is a whole different part of a map. That's what I'm guessing. It's This is not Picnic Road anymore. Yeah. So if I go to my map, this is not Picnic Road. This is Overlook Mountain, which is beautiful. I guess it's part of Picnic Road, but it's pretty dope. We got a nice little treasure chest. Yo! These little shy guys pop down on me. We get a nice little shrub collectible, and I see another treasure chest right behind that. So, I'm gonna hop up here. Let me, I'm gonna, let me see if I can dodge these boys. Oh, we did! No way, yo. Get out my face. Get out my face, but I, I believe uh, we are going to actually keep exploring a little bit of this place right here. Oh, we get a pair of iron boots, which I like, which is nice because we got to verse these guys right here. And he hit me first, so I think I take damage here. And we'll take early damage. Yep, seven damage right off the bat. But good thing they gave us iron boots, so I get a chance to show this off too. But we're gonna show off a little bit of a uh, overlook mountain and then finish off that this episode. We're probably not gonna be able to burst the boss in this video because I feel like this place still has uh, a lot to do left. But we got to show off picnic road, do that, and come over here to overlook mountain. Boop, boop. Let's get it. Let's go. See you later, spiky boys. Iron boots coming in clutch. If we if we would use regular boots, I believe we take damage. Oh, tons of confetti. We get to fill up. We get to fill up. And what is this over here? What is this over here? Let me read the sign. Come here. Let's read the sign. Insects are people too. Please be kind of creepy. Many legged friends approach you slowly. Okay. I kind of want to see an insect. I think that'd be pretty dope. I see this little bottomless uh, hole here. So I can fill in. Fill it in. Yo I didn't fill that in yet. I feel like I should have filled it in by now. There we go. Boop, boop. 
finish up that bench. Anything over here? Any toads? I'm looking for the toads, man. I'm looking for the toads. I need them. I need them. I kind of want to eat another mushroom soon, but kind of don't at the same time. Bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Up up here. Keep going. Oh, there's there's the insect. Come here. Come here. Oh. Come here. I'm going to smack on you. Let me smack on you. Got them. Are these toads? They are toads. Okay, so all insects are toads. Come here. These little grasshoppers. You little biscuit. I missed them. Stop it. It's chill on me. Yeah, fake them out over here. Oh, yeah. So I know his little pathway, so let's have him hop over this way. Oh, you little biscuit. Oh, I missed him! I had him! There we go. Okay, I got him. I guess if you hit near him, they uh, kind of get, like, flinched. But there we go. Got my boy, and now we got one more. Come here! Alright, just... Mm. Yo, a spiny! A spiny popped out that tree. What's a goodie, spiny? And he's just chilling. Look, he got stuck, yo. That's actually kind of funny. Let's uh, fill in this hole. Give me them coins. I want to see what else is in this tree. If there was a spiny in the tree, I'm going to head up this tree a little bit more. It's just confetti. I'm not dealing with that spiny. I see Goompa. Oh, it's a Paragoompa with the wings. Get out of here. Get out of here, boy. Give me this. Yo, let me, dip, let me dip and dodge you. Get over that wall. Oh, yes, sir. Hit this. Give me that confetti. And we chilling. Oh, there's more. And then we've got this little Koopas over here. So I'm going to talk to these boys. Step right up, calling all safe and seekers, coupon clippers, and thrifty types alike. We got Monty Mole talking. You, sir, with the mustache. Fancy a fair deal? Yeah, I'll do a deal. What's the, what's the deal? What do I got to do? I'll get right down to it. What I'm offering today is a once-in-a-lifetime deal. A real bargain in the rough. What are you selling? Oh, are those one of those things? Feast your eyes on this miracle orb. Is this one of those shell stones? Yeah, it is. That's a shell stone. I need it. Now, just calm down, folks. And then get excited all over again because if you don't buy it now, you'll never get another chance. I'll buy it. No, oh, he smacked that thing with paper. Let's just start a bidding at 10,000. Bro, I guess I'm going to have to sell. I'm not going to buy it. I don't think I should buy it for that one. No takers, huh? I see. Hmm. What you mean? 10,000? Buy this item for 5,000 coins. Half price? Yo, do I still buy it? It is still a lot. Maybe I can get him to go, go down a little lower. Now, this is a slippery situation. we got a developing here. I'm looking to sell you this thing for how much? I was going to put it out there for 3,000 coins. I think we buy it. I think we buy it for 3,000 coins. Sold for 3,000 coins with the two with the two sharp eyes. There we go. We bought it for 3,000 coins. Awesome. Maybe we could have got it for lower. Thank God I said no for 10,000. But we did just find the first shell stone, which is awesome. What are these guys sad about? They didn't get it? Enjoy your new shiny stone. <laughs> He's like, oh man, they got it. <laughs> Bro, I wonder what happens if we went low enough and they bought it. That'd be nuts. There's gotta be a way to get it back, you know? There's something over here, I thought. Yeah, secret path right here. I saw like a little door. And we get this treasure chest that we saw in the beginning. And we get a little paper macho goomba. This little paper macho goomba, which is awesome. But one shiny stone down, we got a... Uh, Four to go? Or no, no. Three to go, because there's a total of four. Got these little shy guys. Ah! Oh, they caught up to me. They caught up to me, and they gave me a quick little smack a rooney here. They gave me a quick little smack a rooney What you want, fools? We got another little wave battle. Is this a wave battle? Or is it just a one battle? Line them up. How are we going to line this up? Hmm. I know we got to do a turn like this. That's fine. And then maybe we come over here and slide it this way. Hmm. Go BB. Uh, maybe we go. No, I didn't mean. I gotta spend. I gotta spend more coins in it. I think. I think. I think I got it. Give me one second. Oh, he threw that. I gotta actually uh, hit the plus button. No, you gotta hold down the plus button, which I don't like. And then hold that down. I'm gonna give give myself another uh another twenty some seconds. To try to figure this out. I go here. Like here's the right call. I feel like here's the right call. Let me go here. There we go. Perfect, yo. I got that so good. That was a tougher one. That was a little tougher one. But there we go. We bought extra time on the clock. And we actually figured out the puzzle, which I really like. I really like uh, trying to figure them out in time limits. There we go. Nice little great shot right there. I come over here with a hammer. The nice little hammer. Yeah, so we can. I can start to tell that the puzzles are starting to get harder and harder. Get another great shot. Take out the shot, guys. Say see you later. And we got a last wave right here. So try to figure out these puzzles. Oh, this one's looking a little confusing. So, bum, bum, bum. let me see if I slide these dudes over like that. And we're going to do something first. So I'm going to hit B. 
Um, I think what is, uh... Let me go here. Let me hit... Let me switch this. Go here and slide this dude down like that. I don't know. I need more time. I need more time. I'm gonna spend 37. Jeez, dude. Jeez, man. This puzzle's, this puzzle's a little tricky. This one's a little trickier. Maybe I can line them up somehow. What you mean? What you mean? I think we gotta go ring on this one. Slide them over like that. And something to do with this. I don't know, man. Jeez, dude. Jeez. Let me cancel out that next one. How am I supposed to do this one? Something's gotta get A moved. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it at all. I think I'm gonna have to take some hits here. Let me cheer. Let's cheer some coins. There you go. Take the coins, boys. Help me out. Help me out. Oh, what they do? Just solve the puzzle for me? Or they make a move for me? And gave me HP. Yo, my dudes. Okay, so that works like that. Okay, there we go. We'll just take that. He gave us HP. So I'm chilling with that. We're going to hit up on these shy guys right here. Bro, that was a tough one. These puzzles are getting a lot harder. Nice little excellent shot. Bop. See you later. But, yo, that was pretty dope. To actually just give the coins to shy guy. I'm gonna hammer up two of them, and I'll take and I'll try to block a shot from the next ones. But yo, Shy Guy made a move for us, so that could have helped us out. I just didn't feel like spending any more coins over on a uh, um for more time. Oh, what? What is this? Did you, they miss? They missed their attack. Now finish them off. Attack power up. Beautiful. We're just gonna go with the boots. Stomp on their heads. Let's get it. But I like how they healed me up and made a move. They were just like, yeet, yeet. I wonder like what's the maximum amount to give them. And their best thing to do. I feel like if you give them enough, they'll just wipe out the floor and, like, all attack. You know what I'm saying? It's some nice confetti there. And we got our first shellstone, which is nice. Hopefully, we can find another one before this, uh, we actually end off this episode. There's a little pipe here with that seal on it. I kind of want to open it up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open it up and see what it does. So, let's, uh, come in here. I guess I got to hop up on it and tear it off. Yeah, baby. Get out of here. Get out of here. Can I head down it now? Let's see. Let's enter down the pipe. Enter the warp pipe? Yeah. It has a one on it. I don't know where it's going to lead us. Where are you going to lead me, kind pipe? Let's see. Oh, it leads us to Toadstown, which is pretty cool. Well, there are so many cool pipes. Bet you never seen anything like this before. So I'm guessing, where's this lead us? I guess we can't enter. The I think this is for the world. Different worlds have different pipes. That leads us back to the main town right here, which is Toadstown. That's nice. Oh, Mario, welcome to your first visit to the Museum Champion. Yes? Yes, this is it. The museum. Let me tell you about how it all works. I don't really want to know. But I guess all of our collection pieces do come here, which is pretty cool. That's good to know. But that is so cool that we get pipes from different worlds that leads us right back to the town. So, like, when you're mid-world and all that, there's just a pipe chilling there. But that's nice. That's nice. That, that can just bring us back. There's no fast travel in this game or anything. I can't just go to the map and just hit, like, okay, let me go back to Toadstown now. But if we have a... If we have a pipe like this, I can just travel when I'm mid, uh, when I'm mid places. Like, let me hop, try to hop into five. Let's see if we can go into five. Enter the warp pipe. Oh, can we go in there? Oh, it's blocked. See, the other end is blocked. So these are for world one, two, three, four, and five, and six. Beautiful. So I should be able to go back down here and, uh, get back into, uh, the mountain place and picnic road. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, we back. We back on that grind. Let's get it. Oh, another toad in the rock. Toad in the rock. And I see this tree right here. There's a, I got a confetti this tree. You guys can see it to the left right here. Look at this. Come here. Is it beyond my webcam? No, it is not. That's beautiful. We actually fixed up that tree. Now I can smack it up. Come here, tree. Oh, there's a little secret path over here. What's down here? Oh, yo. Jeans is finding stuff, yo. Jeans is just looking around. He's killing it. Smack up on this toad. Save another one. Woohoo! Oh, yes, sir. There were still a lot of toads back at Picnic Road. We gotta get one. I think it's a one-er. Yep, there we go. It's a one-er. Let's keep moving along this place. Oh, and there's a boy. There's Goomba boys. Oh my god, and a paper macho one. Come here, boy. You want the smoke? I'll show you the smoke. Come here. Ah, leave me alone. Dip, smack. I didn't smack him up. Oh, I gotta get the behind him first. Start walking. Turn around or something. There we go. Get smacked up. Smacked up, fool. So, your initial hit has to be to smack him up, and now we can just hit him normally. Can you calm down, buddy? Bop. This is pretty easy once you get rid of that thing. Bop. See you later. Give me all your brown confetti, boy. There's a secret path this way as well. Why is there music still playing? I'm kind of scared. And there's a toad here. Sir, how do I get this toad, though? 
There we go. He's sliding down on the wall. Leave me alone, you folder freaks. I'll never surrender. Oops. <laughs> Toad, look, it's me. Mario? <laughs> I love doing Toad voices. Mario? <laughs> it's me, Toad. <laughs> I don't do it going, but yeah, Toad's so funny, you know. His voice is so funny. Bang, yo, get that. Anything else we got over here? Oh, a little save point. A little bit of save point right here. Come on, if I do, we will save right here. And I still hear that music, which I do not like. Is there still like a macho on that? What's going on? Why is it? Why do we have that music still? Yeah, but I was gonna say I believe we defeat the enemy, so we're chilling. We all good. Let's keep heading up this place. See what we, what else we have to do before we do end off this episode? Like I said, I kind of want to find one more of those uh, shell stones. Yo, why this thing move? Oh, you hunk of junk. You hunk of junk, man. I guess this was the Goomba. Just chilling around. Let's go get him. He's all angry. Any more showing up? Ah, oh, this one's an easy puzzle. This is an easy puzzle. Actually, is it? It's kind of a little weird. Oh, we get three moves. Fine. I know exactly what to do then. Bring him down. There we go. Easy peasy. It's not a wave battle, so we're kind of done it after I just stomp on him with boots. Get him, yo. Ah, uh, yeet. 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 See you later. See you later. But I'm hoping another, another shell stone is close. Because we're pushing on like about 40 minutes for this video, which isn't too bad. I'm a fan of it. Ooh! We get a uh, little thousand arm things. I'll take that all day. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, what's in here? I see this. Can I grab the top of it? There we go. I'm gonna tear it down. Oh, we find a dry bones with another stone! Look at here! I knew we I knew we were finding one soon. I knew it, baby. There's a skeleton of a Koopa Troopa. It must have been trapped in here, that poor thing. And he died and he drops us the second shell stone. So we have two more left, so we have the we have the shell stones right here. Yellow shell stone. Beautiful, beautiful, awesome. That's the second one we found. Awesome. Thank you, Olivia. Rest rest your weary bones, poor Koopa. You're better you're in a better place now. It's not a Koopa, it's a dry bones. Rattle rattle. Hey, I'm fine. I'm not a Koopa Troopa. I'm a dry bones. I'm just dehydrated, okay? <laughs> Bye, Dry Bones. Thank you so much for the Shellstone. Oh, it looks so happy. We'll never forget you. <laughs> but, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I'm going to save it real quick. If you guys did enjoy the content, make sure you smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, lets me know that you are enjoying this playthrough. I'm having a blast with it so far. But, guys, in the next episode, we're actually going to be completing, or hopefully completing this place. I'm not sure how much longer it is, but collecting the last two Shellstones and checking out the rest of this place. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.